Okay, right. So rotational motion. So the next concept is uh, movement of inertia. So this is the most important thing and a complicated thing also for uh, NEAT and as well as uh, JE. So just have a glance very carefully. So this is the movement of inertia introduction. So let us, uh, already we have seen that, observe very carefully. So what do you mean, what is the symbol for movement of inertia? You, we already studied, all of you. Movement of inertia, in angular motion, movement of inertia, what is the symbol, everybody? I, okay? What, not remembered? So if you have taken linear or translation motion, so distance, and in angular, angular or rotational motion, what is the distance, everybody? Okay, no interest means no problem. Rotational motion, what distance? Linear motion, distance is S. Rotational motion, distance is what? So we start the class. Yes, Mr. Rudres, I don't know. Hello. Can you all able to hear me? Yes, sir. What is happening? Rotational motion distance is what? You are not interested what I should do. What do you have studied? You know, till now, 10 times I might be start this. So, acceleration, linear acceleration is tangential acceleration, particular EAT, and rotational acceleration is alpha. So, the relation between tangential acceleration and as well as rotational acceleration is R alpha. Same way, applied force in linear acceleration, linear motion is F. And in rotational acceleration, what is the applied force, everybody? All are dumb fellows, I don't know what, what nonsense is happening. So, and we have studied that here force F is equals to MA. F is equals to MA. So, now here mass of the body is M. But here, if it comes to here, we have studied what? Movement of inertia. So, that is what we used to call as I. So, if you take here, as we all know that, we have been, for example, if you imagine, this is what is the axis of rotation. So along the axis of rotation, imagine a body of mass M is present at a distance of R. So this is axis of rotation. So now, if you have taken the moment of inertia formulas, imagine just like perpendicularly Z axis, not X axis and Y axis, Y and X, so I'm exerting the force on Z axis. That is what I'm just here, a two dimensional representing. So force is exerted on Z axis. So that acceleration also will be in the Z axis. Am I right or wrong? The body will be rotating like this. Yes. Here everybody. So the moment of inertia along the axis of rotation, which is equals to, already we derived the formula. Anybody can tell me? Moment of inertia is equals to mass into square of R radius. So that is only ways to call it as inertia. We have already derived it. You can see that two days before, I think. So you can see that if you want to derive, so we all know that force is equals to mass into acceleration. So multiply both the sides with the R. If I multiply both the sides with the R, it will become what? R into F is equals to M into A MR. into R. M R not. M into A into R. So now we all know that R into F is equal to something. What is that, everybody? Torque is equal to M into A into M R. Now we all know that A is equal to something. A is equal to what, everybody? Here you can see that. So A is equal to what? All of you? R into angular So R into angular acceleration. So if I replace it, M into R into angular acceleration into R. So, which is equals to MR square, MR square into alpha. So, that is what the tau. So, if I compare F is equals to MA. So, now here tau is equals to MR square into alpha. 
So acceleration is angular acceleration. Then here mass, then this whole term will become m r square. This m r square only we used to call it as. What we used to call it, everybody? Moment of inertia. Moment of inertia. So that is only the formula. So moment of inertia. So all of you remember. So this is the formula for moment of inertia. So moment of inertia I along the axis of rotation, which is equals to r square m into r square that is what is the what is moment of inertia so now this moment of inertia is only depends on mass okay so that is why mass is a scalar quantity so this moment of inertia is also what quantity everybody so moment of inertia is also scalar quantity clear so now for example along the axis of rotation let me consider now if i have taken so let me take a one body is present from the axis of rotation. Let me take R1 distance, axis of rotation. And another body is present at M2 distance, sorry, R2 distance. Okay, and another body is present at M3 distance. So that's sorry, R3 distance. That is what mass of the body M1, M2 and M3. So now, if I take what is the moment of inertia uh, along the axis of rotation if I have taken so which is equals to so first imagine only one body is there so what is the moment of inertia here so let me take this is i1 and this is i2 irrespective of sign so this is i3 so moment of inertia is equals to what here m1 into everybody r1 square, r square. So this is i2 is equals to what m2 into r2 m2 into r2 square. Here, I3 is equals to what? M3 into? M3 R2. into R2 so, square. The moment of inertia along the axis of rotation, axis of rotation, axis of rotation is equals to some of the individual moments. That is what? M1 R1 square plus M2 R2 square plus M3 R3 M3 square R. plus and so on. So this is what is what is the moment of inertia along the axis of rotation clear so now the si unit of moment of inertia if you take generally so what is the moment of inertia formula all of you mass into square of r so mass is kilogram and r r whatever it is we'll measure in what meter so meter square so kilogram into meter square is the unit of Moment of inertia. So please note it. Till here, any doubt you can ask me. So, brothers, please involve in the class if you are not interested yes, in the meeting. No issues. So, nobody is there is no force, no compulsion. Even two, two students also doesn't matter for me. So, only you should learn, you have to be benefited. Simply namesake reading, namesake joining. There is no use. So, this is only called as moment of inertia. I hope you all understand. So, any doubt you can ask me or else we will proceed. So, just to remember, moment of inertia formula is what? I is equals to m into r square. So, that's all is what is we used to call it as moment of moment of inertia. 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 Now, so let us write the first question. Question number one. So, this is all introduction only. So, from tomorrow, tomorrow onwards, you will experience what is the difficulty of these concepts. So, but everything is very important. So, let me take there is an axis of rotation. So, axis of rotation x. So, now totally two, four bodies are there from the equal distance from the axis of rotation. So, which has been like having mass m, having a mass m, having a mass m and having a mass m. So, all the bodies are equal. So, they have been from like you can see axis of rotation. So, just imagine that. So, they have been revolving around this axis of rotation. So, in a particular way, this is what it is. The total this side, like it looks like a rectangular, so that I'll take it, this side is A, and this side I'll take it as a what? Length into breadth like. This side I'll take it as a what, guys? B. Clear, everybody? So mm. now if this total is A means, then this alone will become what? Till the axis of rotation, A by 2, and this also become A by 2, and this also become A by 2. Is it okay, brothers? So question is, yes, sir. find moment of inertia along the axis of rotation. So option A, M, B square. Option B, 
टू एम बी स्क्वायर ऑप्शन सी एम ए स्क्वायर ऑप्शन डी टू एम ए स्क्वायर एंड वन मोर थिंग आई फॉरगेट टू से ऑलवेज रिमेम्बर आर आर इफ यू टेक आर ऑलवेज परपेंडिकुलरली टू द होम एवरीबॉडी चेक इट हियर आर हियर एवरीवेयर आर इज ऑलवेज परपेंडिकुलरली टू द वर्ल्ड एक्सिस हैव यू नोटिसड इट सो दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो आर इज ऑलवेज परपेंडिकुलरली टू द एक्सिस ऑफ रोटेशन एक्सिस ऑफ रोटेशन सो दैट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग ओके एवरीबॉडी क्लियर ऑल ऑफ यू सो नाउ इफ यू हैव नोटिस सो नाउ ऑल ऑफ यू ऑब्जर्व so four different bodies who is having mass m so let me if you want you can write it so the moment of inertia along the x axis or axis of rotation which is equals to four different bodies let me take i1 plus i2 plus i3 plus i4 but if i notice it here every body from the same distance that is what a by 2 am i right guys please respond and as well as every body is having the same mass m so can i say the momentum possessed by sorry moment of inertia possessed by everybody is same so that can i write as a 4 into i1 everything is same are you understanding everybody i1 is equals to i2 is equals to i3 is equals to i4 all right please respond guys i r is i1 i can take yes sir because all are equal so now so which is equals to 4 into what is the i any one value tell me so what is the momentum possessed by this body moment of inertia So moment of inertia. Let me take this body. If I take an I one, so what is that? M and R square. R square means what? A by two. A by two whole square. Understanding everybody? That's all correct. Am I right or wrong? M into A by two whole square. Yes. So if we cancel it, so four into M into A square by four. So four four will get cancelled. So what is the answer? Kudreswa. M. Yes. M is. That's all it is. If all of it, please. I hope you all understand. Even small doubt, please let me know. Or else you can solve it. Mr. Murali, understand? Mr. Vishy, sorry, Arde. Anything doubt you can ask me. So this is what. It's very important one. So please ensure you all understand. Manya and Samya, anything doubt you can ask. This is very important chapter for NEET and JE rotational one. So please make sure you have to work hard. clear everybody yes sir yes So we'll go to the next question. Yes, sir. Hmm. So next question. So imagine there there are three bodies having equal mass has been arranged into a triangular shape. So you see, this imagination is very important. You have to take it to an axis of rotation. So let me take now. Three bodies I am taking. So body of mass m. So there is another body who is having mass m. So there is another body who is also having mass m. So imagine that it is a equilateral triangle. So equilateral triangle means you all knows that it is having each angle is how much, guys? All of you? Yes, please. Sixty. Sixty degrees. Now imagine this is the axis of rotation. Understand, Madhuswa? So this is the axis of rotation. So now we have to find the moment of Inertia along the axis of rotation. So totally three bodies are there. So this is all equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle means from A to B, B to C. Let me take this point is A and this point is B and this point is C. So A to B, B to C and C to A to C. All distance is same or not? Everybody, as it is equilateral sure, triangle. Sir. Please respond. So let me imagine from A to B, the distance is at L. So from B to C is also L. And C to D also, sorry, A to A to C is also here. Yeah. Now, all of you observe for B point from the axis of rotation. What is R? Anybody can tell from the B point for B point axis of rotation from the R. Mr. Rudreshwar, so R is equals to what is that, guys? L. Correct, right? Ah, 
for a point, what is R is equals to? For a point, it is already an axis of rotation. So, R will become what? At point A, everybody? Point A, R will become what? Everybody? Zero. Zero. But Zero. what about point C? So, point C is this much distance from the, this much distance from the axis of rotation. So, all of you observe how to find it. This is what is the question. Let me finish the question. So, find, all of you write the question first. So, find, find moment of inertia, moment of inertia along the AD. This is what point AD. AD passes through, passes through M and is in the plane is in the plane understanding of triangle passes on the m any one m you can take it okay so i'm taking this one so axis of rotation i'm considering so option a option a 3 by 4 m l square option b 4 by 5 m l square option c 4 by 3 m l square option d 5 by 4 m l square so these are the four different options now let me see how you can solve so all of you observe first let me take moment of inertia along the axis of rotation so three points are there so what is the moment of inertia along the axis of rotation moment of inertia of a point plus moment of inertia of b point plus moment of inertia of c point am i right or wrong everybody Speak loudly. As R is equals to zero, yes. so the moment of inertia at A point, all of you, zero. zero. And what is the moment of inertia at B point? As it is at L distance. So point axis of rotation to B point is present in L distance. So that what will happen? Mass is M. And instead of R square, what I can write? Please respond. L square. L square. Okay. But C I cannot write because C is not from the L distance. Have you checked it everybody? C is at L distance? No. Understanding all of you? So, how to find it one? It's very simple. Check it, everybody. Imagine like, so this is actually, it is equilateral triangle. So, equilateral triangle means what is the angle? Everyone? 60 degrees. Right now, here degree. is 60 means. Then here also how much am I? Angle. Perpendicular opposite. All of you. Yeah. So, here 60 means, here also 60. Now, imagine just the forces which is acting is L. So, just imagine the resultant force is L. Then... Here is the theta, 60 degrees. Then you tell me. So here is the theta. Actually, it is uh, making a theta at here everywhere. So here it is the thing. So now you can take it. This is the 60 degrees. Then 60 degrees means, imagine this is the resultant force. So what will happen? Here what will happen? All of you. L cos 60 degrees. And perpendicularly what will happen? This will become? L sin 60 degrees. L sin 60 degrees. Now, from R, from axis of rotation, what is this R? L cos 60 or L sin 60? Everybody? For C point. Yes, please. For C point, what is that? R is equals to? Everybody? L cos 60. L cos 60. Do you understand? Six, R? Six. Please respond. Now, cos 60 value, we all know that. So, L into cos 60 value, how much? Ra? Please respond. 1 by 2. So, which is 1 equal? by 2. Understand? Ra? Laksha, Mani and Samya. So, that's yes. all. Mass is remain same. Then, what about the R? What about the R, R point, everybody? C point, if you have taken, so which is present at L cos 60. So, L cos 60 means L into 1 by 2, which is equals to L by 2, which is equals to R. So, R square is equals to what, guys? Speak loudly. L by 2 whole square. So, ML square plus this one, ML square by 4. So, that if I take the LCM as a 4, here will come 4. So, 4 ML square plus ml square. So, what is the answer? 4 plus 1, 5 ml square by 4. So, what is the answer? Yes, please. 5 by 4 ml square. So, option option D is the correct answer. So, 5 by 4 ml square. All of you understand, brothers, Mr. Brothers, how to solve? Clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. So, it is very, very important to understand the concept. So, understanding concept is only the major difficulty. Once you understand the concept, numericals, maybe at the beginning you might be feel tough to solve, but 100% you, you people can able to solve it when the time being, if you are keep on practicing. So that is what I can say.
So I hope you all understand. Anything doubt you can ask me. Mr. Murali, yesterday I absent. I don't know you watch it or not, Mr. Pradosh also. So make uh, make sure you are uh, just attention. Attention is very important for me. Just do it now. Any doubt you can ask. Clear everybody? Yes. yes sir. So do it now. Pinchy, Meenal, and who else is not there? Somebody is not there. Aswith. Okay. So solve seriously, Emma. Are you all able to understand, everybody? So even small. Yes, sir. So that is what. So next question is uh, how to imagine more. So just, just finish this question. If you finish this question, we'll proceed to the next question. So next question is that, just imagine. So again, I'm assuming as an equilateral triangle. So having equal masses, equal masses. So now axis of rotation along which body? So which body based, based upon the question we have to decide it. So write the question everybody. So the three masses each M, three masses each M are kept kept xy plane so xy plane means all of you check it everybody you should take it xy plane so your, your pad is your xy plane okay so your pad is your xy plane you just imagine xy plane as shown as shown this is what xy plane so find moment of inertia m dot o dot i moment of inertia about an axis about an axis Check it, everybody. Which passes? Which passes through? Which passes through one of the mass? One of the mass. So our choice and is perpendicularly is perpendicularly to xy plane so means that axis of rotation is passing how rudras axis of rotation passing how anybody can tell if it is perpendicularly to xy plane means it is passing through what axis everybody yes z axis z axis that's all it is means you have to keep this body in such a way so xy plane so you have to select any body either this body or this body so let me select this body so x axis so y axis one body I am choosing and another body must be x axis and the axis of rotation is passing through the what? All of you, you all should speak. Axis of rotation is passing through the what? Which axis guys? Z axis. Clear? Z -axis. So if it is axis of rotation Z axis means then can you tell me from the center one body is present at how much distance? Equilateral triangle. So each body is present at how much distance? Same L distance. Am I right or wrong? Please respond, guys. So both X also and Y also is it perpendicular. Perpendicular to Z. Means in the sense of each one. If you check Y and Z, what is the angle to this one? 90 degrees. X and Z also, what is the angle between them? Yes, please. X and Z and also the angle is what? 90 degrees. Means both are perpendicularly from that. Am I right or wrong? Please respond, guys. So answers. So what is the moment of inertia? 3 ml square, option B, 2 ml square, option C, ml square, option D, ml square by 2. So now, axis of rotation passing in such a way that, which is passing how guys? Which is perpendicular to xy plane. So if it is perpendicular to xy plane means, that is what is the axis which to call as. What axis? Everybody, please respond. What axis it is? Axis of rotation is what axis, guys? Z axis. Z axis. If it is Z axis means from the Z, Y axis is also in same L distance. From the Z, X axis is also in the same L distance. So, so three points I will take it. So, moment of inertia created. So, what will happen? Check it every but three points. So, moment of inertia along the axis of rotation at point A, point B, and point C plus. So, let me take this is a point A. Okay, and this is the point B and this is the point C. So now tell me, so point A, what is the moment of inertia? It is closer to the axis of rotation. So R value is equal to what? At point A, everybody, at point A, R value is equal to how much, guys? Zero. So it will be gone. So next, 
at point B. So as I said, so that axis of rotation is perpendicular to the XY plane. It is perpendicular to the both X and Y plane. It is perpendicular to the X. That is what axis and Y is also perpendicular to the axis of rotation. So that what is the mass is M. So what is the point B? Point B from the axis of rotation, how much distance? Everybody, R is equals to L distance. So that it will turn to ML square. And C also at point C, R is equals to what distance? Everybody, R is equals to also L distance. So it will also turn to ML square. So M plus, ML square plus ML square. So which is equal to how much guys? Axis of rotation. 2 ML square. 2 ML square. So what is the correct answer? Option B. Pradhos, can you able to solve it, Pradhos? Yes, sir. Yes. So this is what it is. Anybody having any doubt, you can ask me. I hope you all understand. Small doubt also, please let me know, guys. Clear? Everybody? So Rishi, Sai Gardik, so Rohit, can you able to hear me? Any doubt, please let me know. Understand, Mr. Dresha? Laksha? Yes, sir. Yeah. So that is yes, Please solve this question. So see here, from the question you all remember, the axis which passes through the one of the mass M, which is perpendicular to the XY plane. So means the axis of rotation and X perpendicular and axis of rotation and Y also is perpendicular. So remaining two bodies from how much distance from the axis of rotation? Everybody, from how much distance from the axis of rotation? They are from L distance. Do you understand everybody? So R is equal to L, R is equal to L. So that is what it is. I hope you all able to understand. Small doubt also, please let me know. Clear, guys? Everybody? Yes. Yes. Others? Okay, guys? Can yes, sir. Understand? Yes. Then, introduction concept, last question in uh, this one. So let us uh, make it, all of you. So write the question. So axis of rotation is present. This is axis of rotation, all of you observe. So I'm taking, so first one kg mass is present at some distance, two kg mass, three kg mass and so on. 10 kg mass is present. Okay, everybody. So one kg mass is present at one meter distance. Two kg mass is present at two meter distance. 3 kg mass is present at 3 meter distance, same way, like up to what kg body, everybody, all of you, 10 kg. So 10 kg is present at 10 meters. Then calculate the axis of rotation, that is what moment of inertia along the axis of rotation. So which is equal to what is the formula? We have studied that, all of you, m1 r1 square plus m2 r2 square plus m3 r3 square plus and so on so till here 10 so that what will happen m10 r10 square are you clear everybody can you understand for those to dress up so that is what yes, is. option a they have given 1625 kilogram meter per second square option b 30 25 kilogram meter per kilogram meter seconds meter square directly i'm saying so wrong sorry for that so next 1,225 kilogram meter square. So this all are what guys? Yes, please. Ax moment of inertia or the axis of? Axis of rotation. The moment of inertia or the axis of rotation is 4,225 kilogram meter square. So anybody having small doubt also, please let me know. So please solve it. Okay. So this is what it is. Now, if you observe, so I will make it first one. What is I1, everybody? I will make it I1. What is I1 value? All of you. So moment of inertia at first word. I1 is equal to what? M1. One, oh, sorry, one, 1 kg. So 1 into M square. That is what? R square. So R square means 1 square. So which is equals to. So everybody check it, everybody. So like we all know mathematical formula. A power M into A power N. Which is equals to what? A power all of you, A power plus M plus N. M plus N. So the moment of inertia along the x-axis is equals to 1 into 1 square plus second one tell me. 
everybody two into two square plus two square three into three square plus three. so on so on plus it will ten be into ten, ten into ten into ten square okay so now first can i write this one as moment of rotation moment of inertia along the axis of rotation so one into ten one into square one square sorry one power one into one square which is equals to what can i write as a one cube any problem two power one and two square two cube 2 power 1 into 2 cube, next 3 into 3 square, 3 cube, plus so on, plus 10 into 10 square is how much, guys? Everybody. 10 cube. Okay? So now, if you all observe this one, you will get mathematical, arithmetic, class 10, you might be studied one relation. So, just a summation, 1 cube, 2 cube, 3 cube, 4 cube, 5 cube, 6 cube, 7 cube, 8 cube, till 10 cube will come. So, summation of n cube, there is a formula. Anybody can remember and tell me? So that is what summation of n cube formula. Ninth class used to study arithmetic progression, geometry progression and all. So n cube, n square, what is the formula? n into n plus 1 divided by 2 whole square. So that is what is the, sorry, whole cube guys. Okay, sorry, whole square. That is the formula. So please learn it. So what is the summation of n cube formula? n into n plus 1 divided by 2 whole square. So that's all it is. Now n is equal to how much guys? Up to where we went? n is equal to everybody. Please respond. 10. So n is equal to 10 into 10 plus 1. 10 plus 1 divided by 2 into whole square. So now 2 ones are 2 fives are. So 5 into 10 plus 1 is 11. So 11 whole square. So which is equals to 11 fives are 55. So 55 whole square means what is the answer? Anybody square of 55? So you might be studied. Madam taught you shortcuts also last year for finding the squares. So what is the answer? 55 square means 55 into 55. Tell me the answer. What is the answer? 3025. 3, so that is what? Kilogram meter square. So that is the axis of rotation. So how it is possible to find easily with the help of? Mathematical that, that is what summation of NQ formula. So with the help of summation of NQ formula, you will you will get this one. Are you clear, everybody? Hello, yes. please. Sir. Yeah. Okay. So what is the answer? Three zero two five kilogram meter per second square. So option B is the moment of inertia. Are you clear everybody? Yes? All of you? Yes, sir. Yes. So now, so this is what about it. Now I will give you one question. You all should try. So and then only you can uh, get sleep. So again, there is a body. So M equilateral triangle. So three bodies who is having a, who are being arranged in the what triangle? equilateral triangle so all the sides are same l and l and l now all of you observe axis of rotation is passing be very careful axis of rotation is passing through the two bodies just i will make it erase and i'll do it all of you check it axis of rotation is passing along the which bodies all of you along the two bodies. So this is what is the path of axis of rotation. All of you check it. Axis of rotation. So now find the momentum. Find the MY. That is what? Find the moment of inertia about axis of rotation. Let me take A point and B point and as well as what is this point everybody? C point. So find moment of inertia about AB axis. So what is the name of the axis? Axis is passing. Axis of rotation is what, guys? AB. So from the axis yeah. of rotation, if you check it, it is not a perpendicular line. So if axis of rotation is AB means, then from the axis of rotation, this body R is equal to 0. And this body is equal to also 0. But now, if you apply the concept. So now the C body is present from A, L distance. From B, you can check it. Is it L distance? C. From both the bodies, it is connected. So axis of rotation. So by this time, there is a mathematical concept you have to apply. So apply that concept. So what concept by this time? Can you guess, Pradosh? Can't find the answer. So 2 by 3, 2 by 3 ml square, option B. 4 by 3 ml square, 
and option C, 3 by 2 ml square and option D, 3 by 4 ml square. So, I will give you the clue. By this time, you can see. See, this body, if it is if it is perpendicular axis, then I can say C body is at L distance. And if it is another any body is there, so like before we have solved, if there is a body here, then we have find it what guys, by applying the angle, that is what 60 degrees and here 60 degrees. So here what will happen? L cos 60. Karata, please respond guys. L cos 60 yes. and we solved it. Yes or no ma? Rudreswar, have you solved all this question? Check it everyone. So before question. So that is what we have been found it. But now it is axis of rotation is passing through the A and B. So then what is the distance? The C body is present from both the bodies. A and B. Not from the A, not from the B. So because axis of rotation is passing. So by the time, what you have to do? We have to draw a perpendicular line. Like you might be remember construction. 10th class I have taught you. So from the C point, if I draw a perpendicular line, which is touching the axis of rotation. So let me take that point is what point? Everybody? D. What is that point everyone? All of you? D. So means what is the angle here? Rudreswa? 90 degrees and here also what is the angle? Everybody? 90 degrees. Perpendicular degree. point. Understanding all of you? So we all know that it is a equilateral triangle. So it is equilateral triangle here 60 means. All of you check it everybody. So equilateral triangle. So here 90, here 60. Then here what else? Anybody? Here, what else will be the angle? 60, 90. Then what is? I have drawn the perpendicular. Check it, everyone. 30, uh, sir. Yeah, 30 degrees. Elame Purima. Let me take that point is O or D, your choice. Now, so we want to find that OD. OC is only the from the axis of rotation R. Am I right, 